so I should be live, but let me just check. Yeah, I seem to be live. So I'll just minimize my audio so I can at least watch the comments just in case somebody logs on. <clears throat> so this video is for a client. Let me just um, quickly figure out the problem. So I inherited this eShop and they have this specific problem where they can't see products in a specific category, although the category seems to exist. So it gives them a 404 page and I've checked the technical stuff related to WordPress, whether the permalinks aren't working correctly and so on. And presumably they are. So I'm, I'm taking this just so that I remember what I'm looking at. So I'm stealing this. It's called muscle repair slash pain and inflammation. Okay. So I'm sticking this in a notepad so I don't forget what it said, because this is the slug, right? So now let's see how how the problem occurs. So we start from here, and the client said that she's having problems when she's doing muscle. Is that what it was called? Muscle. There it is, muscle repair. So she should be going to that link, right? But there's a 404. Now, first of all, I need to log in, obviously. Let's see if I can actually log in <coughs> to the eShop. I'm using, do I have my own logins over here or don't I? I don't remember, to be honest. So maybe it's this one. Let's see. Yeah, my logins worked. So let's start from the basis, does the category exist? The client says that it does, but I have to actually check. So I'm going to products, category, oh, not brands, but categories actually. Let's check that that exists. So I'm going muscle pain or something. I hope I'm spelling this right. Oh, I'm not actually, oops. Muscle pain, sorry about that. Searching, does it exist? Oh, did I type it in wrong? Let me check my let me check my slug here. I'll just steal. Oh, it's muscle repair actually. I'm stupid. Repair. So that exists, and it does seem to have like products in it. So that's fine. The next one we have to check is the subcategory because from the sorry about that. From the link, I can tell that there should be a category called pain and inflammation. That should be a subcategory of muscle pain. So let's search for that. Does this exist? Okay, so let's do pain. I mean, I'm hoping that I can find something called pain and inflammation. Let's see. So I can see. Hmm. Is that the same? That's abdominal pain, though. Okay, so let's go to pro let's go to the actual products now and see what the slug for that is. So let's go to the products and see if I can find what the client says here. So it's, um, what was it again? Pain and inflammation. Let's see if I can find that. Can I find something like that? Pain. It doesn't exist. The subcategory doesn't exist. Muscle pain. Muscle. That's muscle repair. Hmm. Yeah, but that's for muscle repair, right? So then, if this is for muscle repair, I'm wondering if something else exists that I don't know about. So, it doesn't exist. So, the second part doesn't exist. So, muscle pain exists, but the second part doesn't. So, pain and inflammation. This doesn't exist. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to try and find the word inflammation. Maybe that will help. If I look in the categories, will I find inflammation somewhere? Let me search. See if I can find it. There's nothing like that there. I'm just going to say muscle. The only thing that relates to muscle, this is muscle repair. So if these products are correct, then you see muscle pain doesn't exist. So this doesn't actually exist. Oh, pain and inflammation doesn't exist. Let me see. That doesn't exist as a subcategory of muscle pain. So what I should do, I'm guessing, is I should create pain and inflammation right here. I should, because it doesn't exist. The subcategory doesn't exist. So let's just say pain and inflammation. I'm doing it so that I'm hoping the slug actually works. I'll set these 10 products as those products and we'll see what happens. So let's initially just say, okay, add new. So that it's there. Now pain and inflammation. Oh, I wrote it wrong. So let's quick edit that should be pain and inflammation and I'm fixing that so that the slug is correct and also I should actually edit it because I've got to put in the parent category for this which should be muscle repair okay muscle repair so now that I've set the parent category Let's go and see. So if I go categories again, and I say, okay, muscle, just that. I'm just going to say, okay, muscle repair, it's fine. What about in an inflammation? For example, does it exist now? Pain. I'm just checking if it exists. Yeah. Mine exists here. Pain inflammation is fine. So now let's go to the 404 page that we were looking at. So if I go to the website again. They won't be any products, but it will come up as a viable page. So let's see. Pain. Uh, what was it? Muscle repair, sorry. I keep I keep remembering the subcat. Okay, so there's no products, but the page now exists. The problem is I should now go and add those products. So I'm just going to say, okay, that all the products in muscle, uh, what is it, muscle repair, muscle repair, right? So muscle repair, I don't really know anything about this, but let's click on the 10 products that exist, right? So I'm just going to say, I don't know if any of these are actually muscle pain stuff inflammation and swelling. I'm just going to assume that all these products belong to that um, you see this one talks about throat pain and stuff. I don't really know which one's which. So I'm just going to assume muscle repair so all of this is muscle repair stuff i'm just going to make an assumption and just make um i'm just going to make all of these but i don't really know so let me see what i'm looking for maybe i say what is it or was it supposed to be pain and inflammation so let's just check pain 
See, that's the thing, right? So I need filter, muscle repair. I'm just going to say pain right here. Maybe it's got a list of only pain stuff. Okay, so based on what I can tell. You see, this has got... Mm -hmm. Hang on. So I'm going to... I'm just going to do this product, just so you can see that they are... And then you can, you can add the ones that actually are supposed to be there. So I just click Quick Edit. And I'm just going to say, okay, add this to the category. Where is it? Digestive. You see, this is all digestive disorders. I don't really know. The thing is, I don't want to add products that don't exist. <sighs> The category doesn't exist. The subcategory doesn't exist. So I don't know. I'm just going to add one. Pain and inflammation is mine. So as you can see, this is muscle repair under pain and inflammation. I'm just adding this one product because I don't really know that it belongs there. But uh, if I go back to this now, we should see the one product that I added. So if it's not the right one, you can remove it, but that's how you reinstate a category based on that. Um, so I'm stopping the video because I have nothing more to say about this, other than the fact that the the category muscle pain existed, but the, the other one didn't exist, the subcategory, which is uh, so pain and inflammation. If you're telling me that the repair muscle products belong, all the repair muscle products belong to pain and inflammation, then okay but if not that's a different story um i just don't know anything about the products to be able to decide which ones go where so um that's about it so basically this one exists it has 10 products in it but um because let me go to the home page again so muscle pain right so if i go to muscle pain right is that what it said muscle pain muscle it's not what is that what it used to say let me see what i'm looking for muscle yeah so again the muscle pain should exist somewhere there it is muscle repair sorry so now I don't know which of these do muscle repair, to be honest, because this one does inflammation as well. I don't know that it does muscle repair because I have no idea what these products actually do. Um, so, yeah, and because I can see all of your categories are in capital letters, I'll go and I'll fix my category and make it capital letters because I made it small letters, thinking that that would be okay. But let me just quickly... Make it capital letters for you. So I, I should have been more careful when I was doing this, but let's just make it capital letters so that it's in the right, so it looks right anyway. Um, I want to say pain, because it should be there now. When I do pain, my wrong one is this one, because it's in small letters, so I'm just quickly changing it to caps on the top only. Pain and in patient just so that it looks right on the outside it should be caps the bottom one should always be small but yeah this pain and inflammation belongs to um the category muscle pain or whatever it is so that's all I had to show for now. I hope that helps you out. So you did say that the products did exist, but in actuality, the subcategory doesn't exist, at least the way it's, it was done. So.
Let me know if that helped, I guess. Let me stop the recording real quick.